Time for Good Morning Angels Festive Edition. Brought you the compliments of uh, Westpac Lifestyle this morning. And we have a, a little family in studio with, mm. with us this morning. Moms, tell us about uh, the, the Riddle family. <laughs> the Riddles, Rysels, as Callan mm. says. Callan yeah. is the mommy. Yes, I am. Michael is here and little Tiana, he's three years old. He's on Michael's lap. They have no idea why they're here. Nice to meet you, Riddles. Nice to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> now, Michael, let's kick off, off with you. Um, you've got little Tiano in your arms. He's three years old now. Something happened when he was two. What happened? Yeah, the 10th of April, he had a near drowning accident. Ooh. Um, you know, it's one of those things that you think would never happen to you, but at the same time, it was like one of my worst nightmares. But Tiano was the type of kid, like he would, he would not go to the pool unless I was with him. And one of the cars would fall in the pool. He'd actually come call me, Daddy, Daddy, please come take my car out. So, personally, for the life of me, I don't know why he wasn't by the pool. Because when we did check on him, because I had just said to Kellen, go check on my child. And she went to check and he was playing with his cars by the door. And then uh, she came back, we were watching TV. And um, when we went to go look again, she called his name. And immediately I knew it was like, my heart sank, I knew something was wrong when he didn't reply. Um, we found him at the bottom of the pool. Um, Kellen jumped in. Um, I ran out. I mean, I dropped straight to my knees. Like, there's, there's, I, till now, there's no way for me to explain that feeling, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy, actually. We stay, I stay in West Dean. So we ran out in the street, and two uh, people actually stopped a gentleman and a lady actually stopped that gentleman left his car there jumped in the car with us started uh, doing resus on Tiano Tiano was 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 gone there was no pulse there was no pulse he was he was gone but the nearest hospital to where I stay is Helen Joseph so we rushed there luckily um, we, we got one of the good doctors she she sought him she uh, she actually resuscitated him um, and got a pulse um, she did tell us we, we would not know exactly uh, what the damage of his brain would be, but he was back, and that was the, uh, the main thing for us was that he was alive. The pipe that they had in, um, it, it, it had a leak in it, mm. which caused him to, to uh, aspirate, yeah. damage in his lungs. Um, I think we called, the uh, because... Um, my mommy is like big in hospitals, so the first hospital I called was Flora Clinic. They told me immediately to call um, Garden City because mm. they they best known for near drowning accidents and stuff like that. So we called Dr. Bartlett, and Dr. Bartlett said to us, "Okay, to take about about 45 minutes to get the ICU ambulance um, set and to us." Paramedics were standing in the hallway waiting with us because the doctors at that stage didn't want to release Tiano because they were trying to fix the mistake that they made. Mm. Doctor came to me and he said to me that because initially the, the x-ray they took of his lungs, his lungs were all right. And then after the, the, the incident with the, with the pipe which had a leak, he aspirated his lungs were completely white, mm. which meant um, his lungs had gone. No function. No function. Yeah, so... so now, uh, Kellen, yes. um, what what is the prognosis? What did they tell you? What did the doctors tell you? Where are we now? It's a year late. Um, he's a tetraplegic, tetraplegic dystonia. What does that mean? That he's basically paralyzed. He's it's physically disabled. Yes, like from, from the neck down. So he's unable to do anything for himself. <laughs> He is totally dependent on a carer. Uh, she, his doctor did mention that there is water on the brain. And he is not aware of his surroundings. He doesn't know who I am. So it's quite difficult. But you're now the principal caregiver. You look after him yes, the whole I time. Am. You're not working anymore. No, either. I stopped like, working. Yeah. So, moms, how are we here about this family? Well, um, there's a lady called Elise, 
and she wrote to Good Morning Angels. She asked Good Morning Angels if there's any way that we could help you just get a little bit of relief from the situation that you've been in. Yeah. Now, guys, um, sitting opposite you is uh, Bridget Silva. She's from our Good Morning Angels Festive Edition sponsor, Westpac Lifestyle. And uh, I, I can see she desperately <laughs> wants to speak to you guys. Bridget, the floor is yours. Wow. Can I just say to all the listeners, this family walked in and they're so vibrant and energetic. A vision of hope and inspiration. We would like to give you 30,000 Rand to use for whatever you want. You're giving it to you and you can... <laughs> <laughs> So there we go, 30,000 yeah, 30, rand. 30,000 for the story, and I hope it really helps. And I hope <laughs> that Tiano can. I mean, Caleb, you said Tiano doesn't know who you are. I think he does. He knows. <laughs> I am lost for words. Kellen is completely you don't know overcome. how grateful I am. <laughs> we hope it's going to make this Christmas a bit more special. <laughs> so much more. You're a lovely family, and. <sighs> and you have a lot of people rooting for Please. you. Thank you so much, guys. A lot of people guys. love you. 